So I'm ready to take on the boulders. I got my shoes and a healthy curiosity, the guns and the legs. Don't forget the legs. All right, let's go boulder. Okay, so we're at Dumbo Boulders. Now, most people think of mountain climbing is something you do, bouldering out yeah. in nature, but we got Brooklyn nature. We're exactly. under the bridge. Under the Manhattan Bridge, yeah, for sure. Climbing outside, obviously, in nature, it is more exciting for me to climb outside than it is to climb indoors. So this is like kind of one of those things to break people, to start people up to like climbing outdoors. So we got rubber mulch, we got the elements, and we got this monster here. How tall is this thing? This is about 12 feet. Wow. Climbing. Yeah. Okay, 12 feet of climbing under the bridge. The number one important thing you need to do when you're climbing, you gotta use your legs. Okay. Don't try to use so much your upper body. I'm gonna teach you how to use your feet. It's like footwork. Awesome. Okay? So whenever you're ready, you can step on this wall and I'm right here for you. And I'm here to spot you. Nice, Brian. That's it. Good. Get that jug, yeah. When I get to the top, it's up to you. Yeah, dude. Ah. Okay, now how do I get down? So down climb. You're gonna try to grab that hold right there. This guy? Right? You're gonna try to put both hands on that same hold so you can start down climbing. Now, bring your feet a little bit lower. Yeah. Yeah. Is this my guy? You can use any of these if you want. But yeah, that one's perfect. Good. Ah. So how did I do my first time? You did really well, actually. You're killing it, man. I'm you're natural. Your you're natural. Uh, <laughs> but the one thing is that you need to learn how to use your footwork, like body positioning. So okay. you'll, you'll learn it if you do it more often. I'll work on yeah, that. You will. I'm I got till sure. November, so. Yeah. And the rates here are $9 for the day pass, so it includes rental gear. It is. And it includes awesome. the rental gear. Yes, it does. <laughs> it's cheaper than not doing it. Exactly. <laughs> uh. So we're here in the middle of the work day and I've been bragging on my friends all week that I get to go rock climbing while they're at their desk. But I was wrong. We're not rock climbing. Mm -hmm. We're bouldering. Bouldering, yes. Break it down for Break me. it down. So bouldering is a different style of climbing, right? So there's something called top roping. Mm -hmm. is, I call that as more like an endurance of climbing. That means you need rope, you need gear to like climb up, uh, set up the anchors so you can climb up if you're outside. But if you, it's a lot of work. Yeah. Uh, when, it, when it comes to bouldering, simple. You need a crash pad, climbing shoes, which you have on, chalk, and a spot to climb. And that's it. And I mean, basically, it's the, the highest you can go, I think I've seen, is uh, 25 feet of climbing, bouldering. Uh, but in this facility, it's up to 12 feet. So it's perfect. It builds a lot of power endurance, strong fingers. Listen, that strong 12 fingers. felt like 25 to me. So I don't know <laughs> what 25 feet of climbing is like. Yeah. It's a lot. What I love about climbing, I think a lot of people pick up on, is that not only you're using your body, you're using your mind. So it's it totally is. Solving. You have to engage in like... Exactly. And like you're engaging other there. like different parts of your body that you normally don't do in the gym. Yeah. So that's... Not, not, I, not I can already drive. feel the way Your forearms, Because like, at the gym you do the same five things you know how to do mm -hmm. and that you're good at sometimes, but this engages your whole body. Yeah. Very sure. cool. So what can I do at home to get me ready to impress everybody when I come yeah. out the next Core, pull-ups, mm -hmm. yeah. and then push-ups. And you switch it up every few weeks, get different paths and holds and everything. Yeah, we switch it up every like 10 weeks about, yeah, for sure. Okay. Well, it beats being at the office, that's for sure. But just because I'm not at work doesn't mean it wasn't hard work. It's a lot, but it's a good little lunchtime boost. Don't love me like you do.